Well howdy, this is Diana Chu here at Slow Gaze, and um, if you've been here before, howdy again. Welcome to another declutter video. This is my first lip declutter, so I've never really done this with my maximalist stash before. So I have over, I think, 78 lippies. Indie brands, high-end brands, drugstore brands, glosses, you name it, reds, palettes, it's all in there. Gonna keep this intro short, but you'll see during this process that I do feel a lot of guilt for having so much stuff and for accumulating so much. I have one pair of lips, just like most people. This is also coming off my announcement of doing a low buy for six months, which, you know, might seem like ugh, it's just a beauty budget, but it's really monumental for me. So here we are <laughs> in my natural light setting. I'm going to be switching to my tabletop right after this. On my channel, I like to go into slowing down and turning the gaze inwards, figuring out why we do things, and try to bring up more than just the surface, which is a declutter. I try to voice what I'm feeling and why I've made certain choices. If that sounds good to you, just keep watching. I still have to post a few more declutters. There are so many on the horizon, so if you'd love to see those, why not subscribe? You can hit the notification bell, get alerts whenever I upload. I upload every single Wednesday, central time at 11 a.m. If I have extra content, I'll flow it out also at 11 a.m. Friday or Sunday. But if that's too much to remember, just hit the bell. Whew, so, are we ready? Let's dive in. Hey, you are here at my artist's desk. It is an IKEA untreated wood desk. A little bit grody, but I do all of my painting. I do all of my art on this desk. It has seen me through grad school, sleepless nights, and so much coffee and ramen you don't even understand. So even though it's not the most aesthetic, it is the desk of my dreams and it's a workhorse. So this is kind of the playing field. I'm gonna try to stay within the lines here. What you can't see is this full collection. I can't even fit it onto the screen. I have 78 lip products plus countless liners. I didn't even count my liners. So this will be included all in this massive declutter. I wanna level with you. This is so embarrassing. Glad that I'm doing this today because it feels like a reckoning to be able to put my conspicuous consumption on display for you all and then for me to see it. It just means that I'm so skewed with how far I've gotten down the line of either collecting things. These are not even meant to be collectible things, right? They're perishable, they're meant to be used, they're meant to be worn. So there's a whole collection thing going on, but there's also, I would think that every red lipstick that I own is going to somehow bring me out of my banality and into the realm of fantasy. So before I blather on and have an existential crisis, I'm already drenched with sweat for doing this video, but I'm really glad you joined me here today and clicked on this video because every declutter that you see, there are real people behind these products and these are real choices that I'm trying to make and I'm trying to better myself and better uh, my consumption habits, honestly. So I bought all of these with my own money. I've never aspired to have a collection like this from watching beauty YouTube. I just happen to really love product so much and I started my YouTube channel because I knew I had a collection that I could talk about that I could make content with. It's kind of the cart before the horse. Yeah, let's just dive in. I put my little leather mouse pad down so that you know what to focus on. I'm gonna start with lip liners because they take up the least space. This is so overwhelming. A lot of these are Kylie Cosmetics. I bought them when I bought her lip kits. I love liquid lipsticks because they just stay and stay and stay. I don't even mind the pucker ass look that I have at the end of the day. To have a lip last that long made me feel like my confidence could last, if that makes sense. You can see how anal I am already. I have to have it by brand somehow that will help me talk through these. First is this Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Liner in Hawk Wind. And I bought this because I own the lipstick in the same shade. I absolutely adore the lipstick. And and I think the lipstick itself is getting discontinued. I'm definitely keeping this. I think it's such a rich color that's also wearable, it's vampy. Charlotte Tilbury's Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk is way too pink for me. It looks really good on some people, but it does not cheat my lips the way it says it should. I've tried this multiple times to keep. This is going in the maybe pile. I like to have maybe piles and then go through the maybe piles later. Here's a NYX one. This is called Soft Spoken. I've been hunting for 
really affordable, good, reliable lip liners. And these two are from NYX. This one is Free Spirit, and you can see it's a lot more coral. And then Soft Spoken is similar to that pink one. Yeah, I'm gonna keep those in the maybe pile as well with the Charlotte Tilbury. So Kylie Kylie, let's see. Oh wait, I have one more from a different brand. Huda Beauty HBIC. This came in a kit with her board meeting from her super matte lipstick. And I actually love this combo, so I know I'm keeping this. This is my perfect brownie vampy nude. Very similar to Hawkwind, actually. So, oh yeah, they're very similar. Gonna keep these both Kylie. We have a really dark one called Hollyberry. And between Victoria and Bite Me, these are my two reds. I use Victoria a lot for red lip looks. So I'm gonna keep that one. This one is really great for a dark lip look, but I don't do dark lip looks very often anymore. Ugh, I'm gonna put Bite Me in a maybes pile. This is gonna be a long ass video. <laughs> oh, just looking at this, I realized that lips are my favorite thing to play with. I can declutter this Holly Berry shade. Woohoo, Diana, the first thing that you could declutter. Okay. It's progress, right? I'm gonna put this in a bag. It's kind of in this cool little sparkly bag that used to carry all of my lipsticks and then it overflowed. I remember carrying this into a party and we were all getting ready. Some girls were at my house and I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna wear some lipstick. And they're like, oh, I don't wear lipstick, but maybe I should. What can I use from your collection? I brought this down to the bathroom, not thinking, took one look of it and she's like, is that all lipsticks? And I just had like a shudder of existential dread pour through me before we went out dancing. Yeah, I forget that my collection is just completely bonkers. I love things and I spend too much money on makeup. So Holly Berry, she was going in. Bite Me is going into the maybe pile. All oh, these are nude liners. So we have Dolce K, Kylie, Coconut, and Bear. Coconut is my favorite, so I know I'm gonna keep that. Bear here, which is a little bit pinker. Kylie, ooh, that's nude. So I'm gonna keep Coconut and Kylie. Get rid of Bear Dolce K, which I'm also gonna keep. That's very similar to Bear, but has a little bit more pink in it. I'm stuttering so much because I'm so nervous, you all. Okay, so that's six. Do I need the rest of these? I'm gonna get rid of the lip cheat. Bite me. So I'm gonna keep for sure these six. Told you I love liquid lipsticks, and a lot of these shades I had corresponding lip liners with from the Kylie Cosmetics line. I do like how they smell. Don't hate me for liking her products or, or for supporting the Kardashians. I understand the ramifications and yet I still do it. Victoria is my favorite strawberry red tone. I'm gonna keep this. I talked about this in a video. I don't know if I'm gonna post the video. It's about some other products that are very controversial right now because they're by Jeffree Starro. I bought these way before the world woke up and Jeffree was canceled as he rightly should be. I just was part of that group who loved his products and I still think they're wonderful products. Back to Kylie. This is one of my favorite shades but I just don't wear it as much anymore so I'm gonna get rid of this. Aha, back to the nudes. We have Dolce K in the middle here, Commando and Candy K. Commando and Candy K are the closest, I would say. There's one that's peachier and one that's pinker. So I'm gonna get rid of Candy K. That's the older one that I have. And then I'll keep two nude ones. Quite a few Too Faced ones from their holiday. I'm not gonna keep the red one, even though I love having a red matte lip gunky all over. Two years old, that's gone. Gingerbread Man is so flattering on my skin tone. It's that Michelle Pham faded clementine idea. This one actually turns out way darker on my skin tone. So if I had to get rid of one of them, it would be Gingerbread Girl, but I'm gonna keep both. I can get rid of this sugar cookie, which was also part of their matte minis. It's a really nice nude, especially for my skin tone. It's quite hard to find a nude that doesn't wash me out or make me look like a mannequin. But I simply don't wear this type of formula as much anymore. I know I can get rid of this M Cosmetics Rose Nude. It smells wonderful, just like a little vanilla graham cracker cookie. It looks like it can be very flattering for so many people, but I just don't love wearing pinks that much because you'll see all of my other pink lipsticks and you'll be like, what do you mean you don't like wearing pink? But I don't know, just something in it. I love things that have a little bit more brown, such as their full size morning mocha. Oh my God. 
So Julia Adams here on YouTube, she wore this and I was hooked. So I had to buy it, obviously, trying to break that type of behavior, but this is the color that I am living for. Very different from that rose shade. Keeping Morning Mocha, Losing Rose Nude. Two more M Cosmetics, but these are the glosses in Magic Hour and Faded Clementine. Thought that this would be a perfect shade for me. It just looks so dreamy. But I don't love having an opaque gloss. It just isn't my style. Same with this. It's a beautiful shade, but I don't like opaque glosses I'm finding. So these are both leaving the building. And when I say leaving the building, that means on the back end, I'm gonna figure out whether or not it goes to a different home, someone I know donated, goes into the trash can. Hi, okay, I had to take a break because I was doing something else, but I'm back. <laughs> Still with the liquid lipsticks, I see, wow. This Honest Beauty one is also a very new purchase for me. I think this is in the shade BFF. I'm not gonna get rid of it yet. You can see I barely got it out of its packaging properly. Sorry, that's not very civilized. I'm trying as many clean beauty alternatives to things that I like in conventional beauty as I can. And since this is a drugstore affordable one, that does not want to come off. I'm going to keep it. I don't love that it doesn't have any fragrance, even though I know it's probably better for me. And then of these two, they are honestly so old that I shouldn't keep either of them. This one has so much significant personal value to me because I wore it on my wedding day. I don't know. This is going in a maybe pile. This is Dominatrix, my favorite brown that almost looks black on me and then unicorn blood looks like I'm gonna be keeping these five can't count seven? Oh my god palettes this was the first one I bought and it is by Jean de Ma. absolutely stunning love all of these shades this looks like a perfect plumbing nude as well perfect I am never getting rid of this Westman Atelier I did a full blown review on this baby. It is 88 US dollars. I will never forget that price point. I don't love this as much as this guy, so if you're thinking about it, go watch my review. I will link it down below, but this is also something I don't think I'll ever declutter simply because it's just gorgeous packaging, but I want to try to use this up. A Chanel lip palette here that actually is very different from the others. Beautiful sheer tropical orange. And then there's this shade here. Much better range than the others. I'm gonna keep this as well. Yeah, I'm doing so well, can't you tell? <laughs> so what I really wanna know is, do you wear red lipsticks anymore? I have so many red lipsticks. I used to wear them religiously. These are two, this one's by Linda Halberg. It is an more of an indie brand. My best friend Alice gave this to me and I love the shade on me and it goes on really slick, not patchy at all, but I just don't love reds or dark shades that are so shiny like that. Same with this Glossier Play Vinylic Lip. I just love a matte red lip and ooh, look how vibrant that is. I really love both of them. This one has a fragrance and this one doesn't, but I'm not gonna keep them simply because I just don't like the finish when I wear red vinyl looking lips. It's just not my vibe. Thought I had another Chanel and it doesn't look like it's in this pile. Rouge V, like V-I-E, like life. This one is in Rouge Few or Fire. I don't know a lick of French. I would declutter the other one and keep this one because it's just a perfect, vibrant, fiery red. I have So Marilyn by Charlotte Tilbury in her kissing formula. I actually love this almost more than her matte revolution formula. Way more comfortable on the lips. So if you haven't tried her kissing formula, I would give it a go. Here are two more Pat McGrath Labs ones and Elson I use actually a lot. This is your classic cool toned red. Forbidden Love. They're very similar. Let's take a look here. I really shouldn't keep both of them. I'm terrible at this, can you tell? Let's talk about these Kosas ones first. I have Phoenix and Fringe. I got this off of Kosas.com. This is Fringe, which is darker, and Phoenix is a true red. Also similar. I have to think on the reds. Reds are so precious to me, I don't know why. Have you ever seen a declutter that just like stops being a declutter because the person can't decide on them? <laughs> I'm gonna keep these in the maybe pile for now. I'm so sorry, I'm a terrible human. I know I have to keep this and I know I have to keep fringe. Those are the only two that I'm definitely keeping. All the others will go 
into a maybe pile. Lip balms is gonna be easy because I only have three of them. This one is so new. I bought some Lush products. I don't think I've bought products from Lush for like 10 years when I used to live in Hong Kong. And Whipstick is a chocolate and orange flavored oh, dream. I'm also going on keto, <laughs> which I know it's very unpopular now that it's 2020, a pandemic, but just need something that has a gourmand flavor to get me through the days where I can't just eat three Kit Kats in a row. Keeping that fresh sugar coconut hydrating lip balm. I do really like this stuff. I've hit pan, quote unquote. The smell is perfection. I want to get through all of this before I declutter it. The Honest Beauty, I bought this with her liquid lipstick BFF and I'll be so honest with you this is the shade lychee it just does not show up I was wondering if it was going to look like the glossier cake this is not working for me that is going into the discard pile oh I think I missed these two other lip balms excuse there are just too many products going on I have this RMS beauty I think it's a wild with desire lipstick flight of fancy is the color I don't remember if this is a tinted lip balm, but it almost can't be. Look how bright and corally that is. That does not look good on my skin tone. It makes me look way more sallow going in the discard pile. Of the two Dior's, I do use the sugar scrub. I think I'm really down on this one. I haven't reached for it in a while though. 011 Hollow Rose Gold. If you like a glitter lip and you aren't quite convinced with lip glosses go for this it makes your lips look so plump and healthy i'm gonna put these in the maybe pile continuing with lipsticks are you still with me world i'm so sorry i am a garbage human these two dior kohl's these were holiday from several years ago i don't know if you recognize these dildo looking toy aliens 751 intense garnet and then this one is 741 deep ruby so heavily fragranced it's what i imagine the gucci lipsticks that are out now smell like i haven't smelled them but they have this really nice embossing and they just look really like coal liners i love these really pretty pink red so maybe pile they go probably the longest standing lip product that i own can you see how it's almost like a war-torn bullet i've used this so long i don't even remember when i bought it but i cannot even put it up anymore this is as far as it goes the shade name has completely rubbed off. I think it was number eight. This is my favorite. It smells like mangoes. I love it for how sheer it is and the color pink. Oh, it's just so delicious and fabulous. Use this up. I wanted to talk about the Dior lip products because there's one in Inter Interstellar and one in Mirage. They are different. This one is the Lacquer Stick and this guy is in Stellar Shine. This one is a sleeper hit for me. It looks so strange in the tube. It's like a brownie, tawny caramel color, bright pink and almost gold reflex. Can you see how the surface almost looks like it is sandy? It doesn't feel that way on the lips. It really comes off very easily, but it makes your lips look so full and it's a perfect nude for me. So I'm gonna keep that. Mirage is my replacement for the YSL. It is just as balmy, just as sheer, and look, they're basically dupes of each other. I like the scent of the YSL better, and frankly, I also like the packaging of the YSL better, but I'll keep these. Charlotte Tilbury, oh boy, you have my heart, I know. Pillow Talk Medium, Birkin Brown, and Bond Girl. Oof. Birkin Brown, I want to love so much because I am such a brown lipstick lover. It's almost too red purple. I want it to be a true brown, so I'm getting rid of this. Thank you for your time. We have Bond Girl and Pillow Talk Medium, so I think I'm going to keep both of these. Bond Girl is definitely more berry, and it's if I want to be a little more glam, I can wear that. And then Pillow Talk Medium is just one shade lighter and I feel like I can wear it whenever. Actually, looking at these, they're so similar. Should I should I get rid of one and keep the other? Maybe I'll get rid of Pillow Talk Medium and keep Bond Girl. Hawkwind. So this is the shade that I was talking about that I had the lip liner in, and she also is very similar to these three. 
I am aware. Open a box of Lucky Charms and you take a little whiff. It has that marshmallowy vanilla sugar vibe. Oh my God. Also love this packaging. Love that it's round, but it doesn't roll around because of the studs and you can't tell where the seam is. Really awesome. Shall we go with these Pat McGrath ones? I bought this McManamy color. It is so deep. It is the deepest purple that I own. You can almost get it to a black. Tracy Ellis Ross was wearing this. She was so stunning that I was like, wow, I should wear this more. I'm apt to keep it only because it's the darkest color that I own, but to be honest with myself, like when am I wearing this color again? I really don't know. So that's going in a maybe pile. And then I bought this when I bought the other one, the Forbidden Love color. And this is supposed to be, I think, a matte brick red. This is called Guinevere. It's not a dupe for any other red. This is why I'm keeping them all together but I really should put this in the maybe pile as well and then decide from there. I know I'm gonna keep Hawkwind. I'm going to keep this Huda Beauty board meeting as well. This is probably one of my favorite nudes. Look how brown that is. Everything that I love just smells like chocolate cookies, creams, cakes, tiramisu. I'm going to get rid of Garnet. This is the other Linda Hallberg that I have, just as shiny as that red one. While it's gorgeous and vampy, I don't love it when dark shades are that shiny. So that's going in the discard pile. And then I have these two wonderful ones from Kosas. Violet Fury, I haven't even used. This tells you exactly how my collection has grown way too much, but look at that. Look at that vibrant berry. The only color I have that's similar is in this Westman Atelier compact. Let me show you. There she is. So this is actually way more baby doll pink. This one feels a lot more true raspberry. Also, if I'm honest with myself, I probably shouldn't keep this. So this is going in the maybe pile. This is the shade Vegas. This is my perfect ride or die Kosas lipstick. If you haven't tried their formulas, I highly recommend trying them. They are weightless. They do feel so great and they have a different type of formula across the board. One might be more sheer, one might be a little bit darker. I love that it comes in the white compact so I know <laughs> immediately which shade I'm getting. Also, sorry if I'm just like waving it in different sides of the screen. I can't actually tell what <laughs> my hands are doing. You're just getting down and dirty with me here. So I didn't realize it was such a gloss addict until now. I have so many lip glosses. I did not realize I was such an addict until literally now. I know I can get rid of this NARS Charlotte Gainsbourg tint and it gave my lips the kiss of color that I needed. It represented a lot of freedom. Prior to that, I had been just not embracing pinks. I had not been embracing traditional femininity, whilst there's nothing wrong with that, it just felt like something I was shunning for the wrong reasons. And ever since I embraced this pink, I was able to open up my understanding of myself. I was okay with going out with a bare face without foundation and just lip gloss and like really embracing my femininity in the way that I wanted to, but never allowed myself to. So. This is just a powerful bullet. <laughs> By all means, that's the power of makeup, but I'm not gonna keep you. Thank you so much for your service. Thank you for unlocking that part of myself. Between these two lip oils, I use jellyfish so much more. The Malibu color is actually really pretty. If we are talking pinks, doesn't look too opaque, but I just don't reach for it as much. So goodbye to lip oil. Keeping this, keeping the Marc Jacobs Kissability Recover lip oil. It only has a three month shelf life. I know that because I did a full review of seven of my top clear lip glosses. Some have a little shimmer to it, but I'll also link that video below. I think quite a few people found that one helpful only because I chose products that didn't have any pr peppermint. I chose products that didn't have any peppermint in them and really deep dived into how and really deep dove into how much product you get, how much it lasts, is it cruelty free, what does it smell like, etc. So if you're interested, go check it out. 
gonna keep this to try to use it up. This is the Glossier Classic, just really sticky 90s lip gloss. I love having it in my arsenal and I want to keep using it, so I might keep this. I cannot get rid of this Booksum. I think this is the new fall one. It's in autumn. I have another one, but I don't know where it went. It smells like apple cider and it's a perfect nude. I can't get rid of it. I love the tingle. I tried the St. Kate on a whim. It has a micro dose of CBD. Ballet pink, so pretty, but I don't like how it feels. It's so gloppy, not like a lip oil feeling, not nourishing feeling, even though the products are all inside are clean as I understand it. And it actually has a 24 month or two year shelf life. So to me, this was like the perfect gloss. I could keep it around to keep using it, but as you see, I have so many more products to use up and Honestly, I just don't love this one. It can go to a different and better home. Same with this Wayne Goss gloss, Antique Rose. I was so excited for this because it has a little bit of a peppermint smell. It has this beautiful amount of shimmer in it, but it's just not my favorite. So this is going in a maybe pile. So I have the Patrick Ta and she's an influencer. I love that there are holographic blue sparkles in this. The Nabla Shine Theory Lip Gloss in Champagne Supernova also did a video on this recently called Full Face of Nabla. If you're interested, smells like coconuts to die for. Magic from Tower 28. This is the gloss that I took tubing down the river recently. It's one that I like, but if I was able to tube with it, I was like, eh, if I lose it, it's all right too. It's a great clean alternative, $14. Can't go wrong, but I don't love this one, so I'm going to discard it. Kaja, Beachy Nude. This is probably my favorite lip gloss <laughs> that I've been using so far. It has no smell, really. It's almost like the Fenty Gloss Bombs, but it doesn't have that strong smell. I don't know why people aren't talking about this, literally. It's so good that I would buy a backup of it, despite how much I already have. So I'm gonna keep these three. Three Lipophorias from Natasha Denona. Really shouldn't keep this chestnut shade, even though it's so pretty, and you know how much I love browns. 90s vibes alive but I should put it in the maybe pile and then this one is in mauve this one is in caramel neither are my true nude shade this is way warm toned this one makes me look a little bit dead but I love this formula if you're looking for a um, lip balm but liquid style kind of like this Rowan Remy color liquid lip balm these are very similar they're pepperminty they give you that nice feeling. Definitely keeping Remy. I love that color. Of these two though, maybe they should go in the maybe pile as well. Oh, dreading the maybe pile. Fenty gloss bombs. Perfect lip glosses. I'm sorry, they are. I bought this in the holiday set. I could get rid of hot chocolate because it's just a little bit too dark for me, but honestly, I bought the set because it had hot chocolate in it. I do like it, but it just isn't my skin tone, so declutter that. In the same vein, I should probably declutter chestnut, even though it's just so gorgeous. It'll be loved by somebody else. This was in my other video. This is just such a special tone that I don't have. This I don't wear, and this one I also don't really wear. So I'm gonna discard these and keep this bright orange. PYT, don't love this. I don't think it's too special, so this is getting discarded. M Cosmetics, my favorite lip gloss. Smells like s'mores, check. Glassy Shine, check. Lasts for three years. It has a 36 month shelf life, triple check. I can get rid of this. This is the 412. YSL, I forget what it's called. I think it's the Vinyl Lick lip. It's just a little bit too pink for me, though I love their formulations. All their lip products are perfect, but this can go to a better home. Same with this. I bought this to replace this guy. Doesn't compare. This is still my favorite formulation. It almost dries out my lips. I want to use this up, but I should put it in the maybe pile. Between these two, you can tell that I use this color way more. This is the classic, and this one is in rosewood. So maybe I can donate this and I'll go to a better home and use this one up. It is so much older. Boss Gloss in Poise by Umma Beauty. Rouge Coco Gloss 804, Michelle Wong of YouTube also made me buy this. She didn't actually force me to buy it. 
she was talking about it and how her lips really looked plumper, almost like she had work done. She was not wrong with that. So I'm keeping that. This I like, more of a lip stain, nice and brown toned, but I feel like I have other brown toned ones. Feels tacky on the lips. So this one's going in the maybe pile, even though love Emma Beauty. Pat McGrath, Nude Negligee, probably another one of my favorite gloss formulations. If you have not tried these, I don't know why. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm being so facetious here. This is a high-end product and, you know, nobody should honestly afford $30 of lip gloss. Gone through so many tubes of her Blitz Astrals, so I'm gonna keep this one as well. Okay, how did I do? Almost there, almost there. I feel like I have to be my own cheerleader as much as your cheerleader to continue watching this video because feels like it's been a long, long time. Grabbing this very shameful and very indecisive maybes pile. One should say that if this is in a maybe pile, it should probably just stay in the discard pile because if I don't reach it, for it and if I don't love it, why am I keeping it? With that in mind, I can probably get rid of these two lip liners. Don't love how tacky this is. I just don't reach for it compared to other glosses or it's just such a hybrid. So gonna get rid of this. Same with the Wayne gloss. You know when you look at a product and you have a little flutter of guilt? That's how I feel about these two. That's how I feel about both of these. I probably shouldn't keep them. The two Jeffree Stars I should really just get rid of. Goodbye, the mother. These are all reds and <laughs> except McManamy, which is my darkest shade as I was telling you. Honestly, I have that darkest shade in the Chanel palette, so I should get rid of that. Between these five, I have to choose one. Violet Fury, if I haven't used it already, I should probably say goodbye. I'm gonna keep both of these Natasha Denona Lipophorias because I really think I can use them more. This one I think I can discard. Down to two of these, which I think I should just keep one of. Maybe I'll keep the pink one, just it feels more Dior. So I'm gonna get rid of this Garnet flavor. I was almost gonna say flavor. And then between the reds, ugh. These two are so emollient. These are matte. These can go goodbye. Let's do one more swatch battle. Here she is in true flaming glory. Elson, Guinevere. Should be way more brick. Forbidden love. Wow. Okay. Gonna keep forbidden love. That was, that was really something special. And then I'm gonna keep, so I'll keep these both. Goodbye to Elson. The evening sun is encroaching on me, so I'm gonna wrap this up really quickly just to show you what I am keeping. It is still a maximalist collection by anyone's standards. I will count how many things I kept. I could do a better job. So honestly, I could try to do another declutter soon and just keep moving on this journey. Again, this is not like a one stop. My world has been tipped upside down and now I can live my life the way that I want to. This is a journey. Look at how many similar colors I have in my collection. Nobody needs that many nude glosses. I'm gonna wrap it up for today and cut to an outro or like a little contemporary dance move. I'll flip a coin. Well, welcome back to my face. If you've made it this far, I applaud you. Thank you so much for watching. That was a lot of deliberation, a lot of brain power, a lot of editing, which I actually love to do. What happens with a lot of declutters is that every single item has so much focus and attention on it that I just start spewing stories about it and why I bought it and how much it is and blah, 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 all this stuff. In the end, it's like, you just need to make a yes or no choice. It's not about <laughs> necessarily telling the whole life story of that object. We imbue so much personality and memory to a certain object that after a while, the value starts to grow in our minds and it's very, very hard to let go. And that's why sometimes when we do declutters and I go item by item, feeling if it sparks joy, feeling if it fits into my lifestyle, there's like a Rolodex of questions to ask every single little tiny lip gloss. It can be very overwhelming. So I've already learned so much from this one declutter of mine. I've done a couple before, but this by far was the most draining. When I do my eyeshadow declutter, I have not filmed that yet. I am procrastinating because it's very daunting. I would say I have about 50 
eyeshadow palettes. Definitely have a few things I'm gonna try to pick up the speed, try not to make it so intense for me, and hopefully not so intense for you. So thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already, I would please ask you to consider. It would help my channel grow. It would also help me know that you're out there. And um, thanks for being on this journey with me. I hope you're having a safe, wonderful, day, morning, noon, night, happy hour. I'm here for it. So until my next declutter, until my next video, adios.